so hard to go through chemotherapy and radiation. Many of our clients have no time or energy to prepare healthy meals. I come here and I play and I chop veggies and I get to do all the stuff. It's not a job at all. And I get to come and hang out with people and I meet new people who believe what I do, which is that food is medicine and that by giving of ourselves, we enhance the community. I began volunteering in June or May of last year. And I've always liked to cook and volunteer, so when I found out about it, I was like, oh yeah, this seems like a good fit for me. I wouldn't say I was the best cook when I <laughs> came here. Um, and now I definitely have a lot of skills. I delivered for a while, so dealing with the patients is really a wonderful part of the program. We really are making meals with love for our cancer patients. This is really a way to get them through treatment and know that when they're done with their treatment, that they will come through it a lot better. I'm Tarni Sheldon, and I am a program manager for the Caring Kitchen Project. And April Cunningham, our lead chef, and I um, have been putting this program together with the help of the entire community. The Caring Kitchen is a project of North Coast Opportunities that brings community volunteers, adults and teens, into the kitchen to prepare super healthy, nourishing meals for cancer patients. North Coast Opportunities has been providing programs that meet the needs of our community for over 50 years. Caring Kitchen Project is one of the newest ways that NCO is able to evolve and provide the support to meet those changing needs of community members. Since the Caring Kitchen moved to Mendocino College, we have been able to expand our capacity. We have more volunteers in the kitchen serving more meals to clients. This is the uh, topping for the polenta, which we made before and it's very delicious. So we make about six different recipes each week and then we pack up all the food on Thursdays and we have a bunch of volunteers who come and pick it up and deliver it to cancer patients' homes. All the clients that we receive to deliver meals to come through the Cancer Resource Center and so they're um, an integral partner in this. They do it in conjunction with the Oncology Center at Adventist Health Ukiah Valley, um, identify the patients who really um, need a little extra nourishment or a little extra care because maybe they um, live on their own or they're low income and can't afford uh, proper nutrition. We work with whatever is in season, whatever we get donated, all fresh, as local as possible, and really nutrient rich. We have 40 volunteers that come through the kitchen each week in one role or another. You know, we're just integrally tied with all the things that NCO does. It's all about strengthening our communities one person at a time, and we have teens who are getting strengthened. In the beginning of the year, my advisor said, we need to do community service. It's very enjoyable. And then adult volunteers who are connecting with community in new ways. You put your heart into the bag, because that's what's going to come out to the cancer patient, or to whoever is getting it, it's not just cancer patients. And clients, of course, who are receiving our meals. Dear younger folks, I love you. I really appreciate this wonderful food and the love behind it each week. I appreciate the program so much. My energy is so low. It is nice to go to the refrigerator and have something healthy that is already prepared. Your service causes a ray of light in my heart and brightens my thoughts. Thank you. We actually are 100% community funded. We don't have any large grants, but everybody in the community has come together to make this project what it is. It's just been really great to be able to, you know, build a larger community and help out um, everyone that's in need, you know. I just had to volunteer, so, and I love it. <laughs>